We're giving a tryout to the Procession to Calvary, which is a point-and-click adventure. It's my understanding. I uh, don't know much about the game. Aside from that, it's a point-and-click adventure, and it looks like this. So I guess I don't have anything I could really uh, say about it as a prologue. We're just going to click New Game. That's enough. The Holy War is over. No way. Already? Yes. We won. Dang. Rejoice. Good has triumphed over evil. The North is finally free from the tyranny of Heavenly Peter. Does that mean I have to stop murdering people? Yes. We are now entering a time of peace. A time of spiritual freedom. But I don't have the freedom to kill a few more people? No. No more murders. One more murder? No more murders. This is the worst day of my life. If you have a problem with the new regime, please take it up with our new leader. Immortal John. All hail, Immortal John. All hail, Immortal John. I guess I better find this Immortal John chap. We really do not like that we don't get to kill people anymore. Okay, left click to interact with my surroundings. Right click to draw and resheath my sword. Middle click to highlight hotspots. My inventory is at the top of the screen. Click items to examine them, drag and drop to use them. Double click to run. Okay, I can pull the sword out and put it back. We can do that. We can look at the Bugle Boys. A group of lads playing the Stars and Stripes Forever by John Philip Sousa. I guess we're clapping. Yes, bravo. Yes. I, they probably don't appreciate that. Can we talk to him? Rest in peace, you leaky-titted Burke. We'll leave him there. Someone's been a big, big hole in this poor chap's sternum. All right, so war's over. We can't kill people anymore. That's, can we talk to Death? Yeah, I mean, Death is not interested in conversation, I think. What about uh, the Field Marshal? Hello. What do you want now? All right, where can we find this immortal John person? Oh, okay, he's right. He's very close to us. It's... I mean, I figured that would be a longer quest. Can we please kill some more people? No, we cannot. We cannot. No, absolutely not. But when can I kill more people? I cannot do that. No. We're just not getting it. We're just not understanding it. No more murders. I mean, surely there's been a mistake. Some kind of bureaucratic error. Alright. Immortal John. Let's have a look. The new spiritual leader of the North. Can I touch him? No, we cannot touch him. Excuse me. How can I help you? Are you the new leader? I am just another person, a child of Mother Earth. The people have chosen to see me as their leader, and given me a crown. But my life is of no more value than any of my so-called subjects. I would happily renounce my title. But the people have chosen to follow me, and, believe, and I believe their will to be more important than my own individual desire. Now how did he get the name Immortal John? That's quite a title. Before the war, Heavenly Peter forced me to jump from the bell tower in a ritualistic murder ceremony called Leap of Faith. 
It was a cruel tradition he used to absolve himself of the responsibility of murder. One of many such techniques he used to keep us, the people, in a state of terrified subservience. But I broke the chain by landing in a passing hay wain. I survived the fall with little more than a mild concussion and some vivid nightmares. The people mistook my serendipitous survival for a miracle and named me Immortal John. But are you really immortal? I highly doubt it, but I guess it's impossible to know for sure until it's too late. But the, let's get on to on task, on subject. Could I do some, some more murders now, please? No. Heavenly Peter's hateful reign is over, and he's going to be a benevolent leader. All men are equal, and equally deserving of happiness. Happinesses, I'm sorry. He believes in friendship and love. He believes that we can all work together to build a fairer, more prosperous society. He does not believe in murder. Except the murder that was needed to topple uh, Heavenly Peter. Aside from that, that's the good murder. Anything else is the bad one. But what led him to adopt these beliefs? He suffered as much as anyone else at the hands of Heavenly Peter. He led the people in the uprising against his murderous regime. Fought the soldiers of the South. Drove Peter and his followers home. They didn't kill Peter. Peter is still alive. Men, women, and children all came together to fight for a single cause. And achieve something so great, none of us ever dared to dream it's possible. That's when he realized the error of his old selfish ways. The power of people with a shared goal. Of teamwork. Making the dream work. Of revelation more powerful than any that had been supplied by God. They renounced God's words and began looking to each other for guidance. Okay, so yes, we're bringing this point up. Heavenly Peter's not dead. No. He fled back to the south before we got the chance. Surely it wouldn't be against... Yes, I mean, surely it's okay to kill him. He did murder my family and attempt to murder me. And while he is one of the people, he's not one of my people. I guess I could turn a blind eye. Yes. All right, there's, we have gotten the mandate from the monarch. There is one person that it is okay to kill. Mission accepted. Oh, strictly speaking, asking you an official travel south? Kill Heavenly Peter. All right. He didn't actually order us. Now, now, we know how this works. The leader doesn't actually give the order explicitly. Oh, look what's going on here. But yeah, the leader doesn't actually give the order explicitly. He just intimates. He, you know, implies what he wants. And then we do it for him to make sure... To make sure that the Lord is not actually blamed for any of this. Can we go south? He could take us to a lugger. That could take us to a brig. That could take us to a full-rigged pinnace. That could take us to the south. Let's do that. I uh, know he needs to get his oars back. Sorry, the oars. But what happened to your oars? What happened to those oars? They were sequestered by the medics at the field hospital to make crutches and the like for battle-worn soldiers. Why is he still in his boat then? He's a boatman. He has to man the boat. I can't argue with that. It makes sense. Does he ever get seasick? I hope not. He's the boat man. He once got explosive diarrhea from eating bucket cockles. You don't, you know, you don't want to eat bucket cockles. Aimed it over the edge of the boat and the poop was so powerful he traveled eight furlongs northeast before dawn. Does that count? Yes, that is food. That is not seasickness. That's not what that is. Gotta find those oars. Gotta find them. All right, so I like how we had this whole conversation with him while this is going on next to us, and we can't actually talk to them until we finish talking to him. Discarded clothing. But yeah, you get naked before you get fighting. You don't want to ruin your clothes. You don't want to ruin them. Yeah, we don't need their clothes. 
Yes, I want you to talk to the clothing. Yes, eat it, please. Eat the clothing. He's not gonna do it. Alright. What's going on here? A couple of lads having a good old naked tussle. That's correct. That's what that is. It seems like one of them, his back might be broken. Because he's been, like, dangling like that for a while now. Yeah, we don't want to, yeah, we don't want to get involved, I guess. No? Okay, we're just gonna leave him as is. How are you doing? Yeah, we're clapping. Okay, that's what happens if we talk to a musician. I guess we can't do anything with them. Alright, oh, there's oars. There, there they are. I... You have oars. Hey. Yes, miss? Can I borrow your crutches? What do you need them for? I'm traveling south to kill Heavenly Peter. I need the crutches to power the dinghy that will take me to the lugger. That will take me to the brig. That will take me to the full rigged penance. That will take me to the south. Well, I do hate Heavenly Peter. I'd still have two whole legs if it weren't for him. But as a strict follower of the doctrine of Immortal John, I believe my own wishes to be secondary to those of the people. So I will have to, have to, have to ask them. Okay. Hey guys, should I give this lass my crutches so she can kill Heavenly Peter? Oh, these would be the people? Nah, I don't trust her. I abstain from voting. So sad. No way. That spoiled bitch already has socks and shoes. Why should she get crutches too? So, uh, sorry, people have spoken. Huh. I guess they have. Now, what happened to your leg? War. Can you be more specific? I got bit by a pine marten while cowering in a thicket of azaleas. The wound went septic. He had to cut the leg off to stop the rot spreading to his tits. Does he like samphire? I don't know. We haven't brought that up as of yet. What is that? I don't know. I think it's like an herb or something? I don't have an opinion on that. Alright. Good chat. Bye. I, well, no. Can I borrow your crutches now? I, I think they still don't want me to do that. Alright. So I guess I have to get the approval of the people. Hello. How can I help you? up. We're waiting in line for the field hospital. I'm gonna kill Heavenly Peter. Wonderful! Heavenly Peter is a scoundrel. He once farted on the preferment for my mortal loaf. And the yeast became so active that it lifted the thatch off my kitchen. And I I think he's probably... It sounds like he's done a lot worse than this. I don't know. Can you help me get to the south? I don't know anything about that sort of thing. Never mind. What about Reticent Knight? You okay? Nope. Why so glum, chum? I've been waiting here for six days and the queue hasn't moved. What injuries are you seeking care for? I'm having a moment of existential despair. I'm gonna kill Heavenly Peter. About time, too. Heavenly Peter is the source of all of our woes. His list of crimes is longer than that poor man's hair. Can you get help me get to the south? I'm no help to anyone. Not with that attitude. Alright, so it sounds like they want to get into this hospital. I have to help them do that, probably. Hello? What do you want? What are you doing down there? Waiting to get looked at by the doctor. And what injuries are you seeking care for? My boots came off and now my tootsies are cold. I think you need a cobbler or a cord wainer. Not a doctor. 
The doctor is the cobbler. Oh, double profession. He got promoted after the last chump took a spear to the midriff. It'll happen in war. It'll happen. I'm gonna kill Heavenly Peter. Good for you. Heavenly Peter is the worst kind of villain. He raped my home and pillaged my wife. But can he help us get to the south? Do I look like a sailor to you? No, you look like a grumpy knight. I suggest you find a ship if you want to go south. That's, that is what we're trying to do, but we're having trouble at the moment. How about you, guitarist? Oh no, he's, he's a musician. We can't actually speak to him. All right, what about this fanciful dressed guard? Look at this golden sword. Not even, it's, it's got to be ornamental. You can't use that in combat. Yeah, we're, we can't steal that sword. Fancy looking guard. Excuse. Yes. Step aside. I must enter the field hospital. Uh, the hospital's at capacity. You'll have to wait in line. Uh, do you accept bribes? I do not. How about now? Please go away. It's ex yeah, there's some expensive looking armor. I didn't buy this armor. I murdered its previous owner. I mean, that is how it, that is how it goes in war. Can I look at this door? Hello? It's off. I'm sure you can see from the queue at my entryway, I'm very busy. I have a hundred sick men in here and only two lubricated thumbs. I don't have time to chat. You heard the man. Piss off. Piss off. Yep. That's not gonna help. Entrance to the field hospital. Alright, so... He is gonna ask them if he should give me the crutches. And I guess to make them happy, I need to get them into the hospital. But how would I do this? Can I do this? Oh, no, I, I, can, I guess I cannot. No, it's not gonna let me do that. It seemed like an easy way of doing it. But I guess it's not how this works. Hmm. Well, I mean, he, when he opens this, I probably maybe I, I mean stabbing the doctor is not going to help though. We can always try it. No. I mean, I guess I could just kill him and take the thing. Yes. Eat lead, loser. Okay, there we go. That did hurt, but at least we got to kill someone, and we're happy about that. There we go. That's called puzzle solving. There we go. All right. All right. Um, okay, here are the oars. I got you the oars. Can you take me to a lugger? I can take me to a brig that can be penance to south. I don't want to tie from the mooring post. Here's the rope. There we go. Let's roll. We did it. It didn't seem like there were that many people on- Oh, yeah, I mean, he did say we were going to different boats, so... Took us to one. That'll take us to the next. That'll take us to the next. We made it! Alright, where's that Heavenly Peter at? Let us at him. It might be use it might be good to ask for direction. Okay, no, we're we're hitching a ride. Thanks for giving me a ride. I never would have gotten this far south on foot. 
No problem, pal. What are you traveling this far south for anyways? Fleeing the Holy War, I guess. Oh, the Holy War is over. We won. Ain't no winners in war, lady. Well, I am. I'm, I'm still alive, and I'm on the winning side, so I guess I'm a winner. That looks like one of your wheels broke. But judging by that massive statue of Heavenly Peter, I'd say we reached my destination. So I couldn't care less. So long, sucker. Alright, where's this Peter at? Look at my massive key! We don't let civilian killers into our town. How do you know I killed a civilian? Oh, your reputation clearly precedes you. You probably shouldn't have murdered an innocent, innocent cripple if you're trying to travel incognito. Scoot! Hmm. Looks like my killing ways have come back to bite me. Who's who's the sucker now? Uh, both of us, I guess. Oh yeah. Bang. Can you help me get into the town? You getting no more help from me now that I know that you're a cripple killer. Piss off. Uh, well, e uneasy is the hand that holds the sword. I mean, I guess we have chosen the path of violence. Ow. Look at this sword right here. It's so big. There we go. Okay, pal. That's how you want to play it. I'm not going to stop you. You won't get very far in life with that attitude. Thanks for the advice, Grandma. Look, we had to get in town. And when the only tool you have is a sword, every problem looks like uh, a person to be killed by a sword. I can see the Basilica on the other side of the canal. Is that where he is? It is. It should be anyway. That was weird. But we know where to find Heavenly Peter now. Well, I mean, he's called Heavenly Peter. It shouldn't be that surprising that uh, we have Heavenly Choirs playing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Door? Oh. Well, yes. I guess word travels fast. Don't want any trouble. Excuse me. How may I help you? Will you take, take me to the church, please? Do you have a boat pass? Nope. Can't take you anywhere. Alright, where can I get this boat pass? Yeah, he doesn't know. But shouldn't you know? He probably should. People must ask him this all the time. They do. Has he never found out the answer? He never had to. That never crossed his mind to do it. Look, his job is to take you across if you have a boat pass. It's not He's not concerned about how you get the pass. Is there another way across this canal? Nope. Unless you know how to walk on water. I guess that could be a possibility. Alright, boat pass. Doesn't seem like there's many people here we actually can talk to, con but considering, you know, we seem to have a reputation. Anything else to interact? Well, there is a door here. No, don't, you don't have to worry about that. The murderer's gone now. We scared off the murderer. He's not here. The performances have been cancelled. Can't run a talent show when there's a murderer around. I mean, I, I can agree with that, but the mur- I mean, I don't think anyone needs to worry about a murderer. I don't see a murderer around here. Doesn't 
doesn't seem like we can interact with anything on the second floor. Alright, well our sword got us this far. I guess we can see if it can get us any further. It's strange that that never happened when we were in the war. Like, we killed so many people in the war, and apparently God was just okay with that. It's unmanned. I mean, there's half a man on it. Alright, here we are. How's everyone doing? We go. Hello, traveler. Welcome to Heavenly Peter's Basilica. How may we be of service? Wow, that's some cat. I'm here to murder Heavenly Peter. Haha, <laughs> that is definitely not allowed. Dang. The church is not open to unsanctioned visitors at the moment. There is a murderer on the loose. We don't want a murderer coming in and murdering Heavenly Peter. Well, we don't want that at all. Piss off. Hello. No, we can't say anything else to them? We recognize these lanky lads? They were Heavenly Peter's henchmen in the north. Must be in the right place. You cannot intimidate us with violence. We are unintimidable. Alright, how about you, scholars? You. Excuse me? Pretty sure I told you to piss off? I'm talking to the scholars. R. Scum. Please stop that. How about the cat? Who's a good boy? Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. It does look like a good boy. And, uh, okay, yes, of course, we can now talk to- actually talk to musicians. A lion and a deer? Interesting choice of surprisingly docile pets. Well, all right. Again, if the sword has got us this far. And we love doing it. Wow, that came through the roof. Okay, now I am intimidated. In you go. The Angelic Choir. It's very beautiful. Guess we're going up here. And I guess that's the man. A one, a two, who? A one, two, three, four. Hi, isn't that the murderer? Yeah, isn't she marvelous? What? No, she's a murderer. Well, sure, she is a murderer, but she's also kind of a badass. A strong female role models are pretty hard to come by around here. Okay, whatever. We should definitely let the guards there, right? Oh yeah, that bitch is going down. But I'ma stone the shit out of her jailers at the execution. Well, I mean, we didn't- we're here to have a good time, not live a long time, right? He doesn't look that inspirational, does he? What's up, dickwads? And what's the plant person here? What's going on there? I mean, maybe there's just a plant that's vaguely in the shape of a person. I'm not sure. What is this? What, like, all of this right here. I mean, I can't click on it. Apparently, it's not 
Here's Wistful Lackey. I don't have time to chat with Peter's lackeys. And then there's this thing right here. Well, can we look at them? Surprisingly casual and rather bored-looking pink frocked lackey. A creepy-looking bald-headed lackey. And here's Heavenly Peter himself. That's him! Heavenly Peter! Elder right there, buddy. You're coming with me, pal. Oh, yeah? Who and whose army? Me and my army. Mm, that is an army. Ah, shit. Sometime later. Well, at least we died doing what we loved. We would not have been happy living in a world like this. In a world where there are- we cannot kill anyone. We would have been very unhappy. I guess it must be extremely painful. I mean, I can't actually talk to the nails. I can't- okay. I mean, I guess, I guess that's it. I mean, it seems like it's, it makes sense that this is where- this is the fate of someone who loves murder so much. Look, I mean, it may seem like a bad ending, but really it's an appropriate ending. There are different eras of history. No, I- we won. This was absolutely the good ending. There are different eras of history that people are appropriate for. And some people who love murder and violence are born into eras where that is considered not only acceptable, but admirable. Uh, a heroic virtue. But times change, eras pass, and someone who has those virtues in one era are, is considered to be a villain in another. It was the time for this woman to die, even if maybe she didn't realize it yet. And that's why this was the good ending to Procession of Cal to Calvary. I, I guess this is what just stays on this. All right. Well, that's Procession to Calvary. Uh, that's the playthrough of it, and we got the best ending. Uh, there are other endings, but they wouldn't be as good as this. So, you can get them yourself uh, if you want. I don't know how many endings there are. Um, I just know that they're not going to be, they're probably not going to be as good as this one. Um, that's Procession to Calvary.